Hello everyone. Today we are going to read first chapter of civics unity in diversity. Our planet has different kinds of people. Each has specific languages and unique traditions. They follow different religions and cultures. These differences enrich our lives. India is a large country. Different parts of the country have different customs, languages, dress and food habits. The main religions in India are Hinduism, Islam, Buddhism, Sikhism, Jainism, Christianity and Zoroastrianism. The Indian constitution recognizes the right for everyone to practice any religion and develop their own language and culture. We all are one despite the differences. Our culture today. Culture consists of ideas, beliefs, customs, art, religions, music and dance. The food habits of the people and festivals they celebrate, their art and handicrafts are all part of their culture. Festivals Some festivals are religious and some are linked to the seasons. National festivals such as Independence Day, Republic Day and Gandhi Jayanti are celebrated throughout the country. Festivals such as Diwali, Dasara, Holi, Eid and Christmas are also celebrated throughout the country. Other festivals such as Baisakhi, Basant Panchmi, Pongal, Onam, Guru Parv and Bihu are celebrated in some parts. We also celebrate the birthday of gods and great men as festivals. For example, Lord Krishna's birthday is celebrated as Janmashtami. The birthday of Gautam Buddha is celebrated as Buddha Purnima. Lord Mahavir's birthday is celebrated as Mahavir Jayanti and Guru Nanak's birthday as Guru Parva. Dance and Music India has two major kinds of dances, classical and folk. The classical dance such as Bharatnatyam is popular in Tamil Nadu, Kathakali in Kerala, Kathak in North India, Kuchipudi in Andhra Pradesh and Telangana, Manipuri in Manipur and Odissi in Odisha. Most of these dances tell stories from our two epics, the Ramayana and the Mahabharata. Ancient Indian knowledge has been passed on by word of mouth. Stories with moral lessons were told through song, dance and drama. This is called the art of folk theatre. Folk dances are mostly based on seasons. For example, Bhangra from Punjab, Garba from Gujarat, Chau from Jharkhand and Odisha, Ghumar from Rajasthan, Lavni from Maharashtra, and Bihu from Assam are popular folk dances. Indian music, like the dance forms, also goes back to the Vedas. There are two main schools of classical music. The North Indian school is called Hindustani and the South Indian school is called Carnatic. In Indian music, we have the Gharana tradition. Students learn music from a guru by living in his house. Devotional music such as couplets by Kabir and bhajans by Surdas, Tulsidas and Mirabai are sung all over the country. Indian folk music consists of traditional songs sung during festivals and weddings. Art and Sculpture 
the earliest form of art based on the teachings of the buddha are the cave paintings at ajanta and elora in maharashtra miniature art is seen in pahadi rajput and mughal paintings earlier craftsmen built beautiful monuments and places of worship the stupas of sanchi were built by emperor ashoka and the taj mahal by shah jahan the latter is now recognized as one of the wonders of the world many famous monuments and buildings are a part of our heritage food the food grains vegetables and fruits grown in our country vary from place to place depending upon the landform climate and season Spices such as chilies, turmeric, pepper, cardamom and cloves are grown. Sweets such as rasogulla, shrikhand, payasam and laddus are popular in India. Clothes. Land and climate also determine the dress worn by the people of an area. Some parts are covered with thick forest and some areas are near the sea. In some parts summers are very hot and winters are very cold while in other parts the climate the climate is almost the same throughout the year The popular dresses in our country are salwar kameez with a dupatta in Punjab ghagra kurta with an orni in Haryana ghagra kachli in Rajasthan lehenga choli in gujarat and a mandu blouse in kerala men generally wear trousers and shirts other dresses for men are pajama kurta dhoti kurta lungi kurta or lungi shirt men in rajasthan wear churidar kurta with an achkan or angrakha and a churidar With a jacket is worn in Gujarat. In Tamil Nadu, men's lungis are called veshti, and in Kerala, they are called mundu. Men in West Bengal and Assam mostly wear dhoti kurtas. Even the style of tying the turban differs from state to state. In the hilly regions, due to the cold. The Kashmiris wear a long woolen kurta called a firan. Unity. The history of the freedom movement proves that although we had and still have diverse cultures and backgrounds, people from different regions came together to fight against the foreign rulers. The Indian flags, the national anthem and the patriotic songs are all symbols of our unity. Globalization. Progress in communication, transport and technology during the 20th century has enabled us to overcome geographical boundaries and has revolutionized our way of living. The world is linked as never before. Economies, societies and cultures have been connected through a global network not only in India but throughout the world. Globalization has resulted in spreading information and ideas. Economically speaking, it has increased money flow, investment and international trade. This has brought all the countries into a single giant world market. We will learn with the help of two case studies how historical and geographical factors influence regional diversity. Kerala a case study. Kerala is a narrow strip of land between the Arabian Sea and the Western Ghats in the southwest corner of India. It is full of coconut trees and has beautiful beaches. 
Kerala has the highest rate of literacy. Women in Kerala hold a high position in society. People of many religions live together in harmony. Hills and valleys. Kerala has high mountains which have deep valleys and are covered with forest. Cash crops like tea, coffee and cardamom are grown on the mountain slopes on large farms called plantations. Midland Plains In this region, the hills are not very steep. The valleys are wide and are dotted with paddy fields. The higher lands and hill slopes have plantations of rubber, fruit trees, tapioca and other cash crops like pepper. Coastal Belt This belt is comparatively plain. Large rice or paddy fields and groves of coconut trees are found. Backwaters The backwaters are a peculiar feature of the state. They are a network of canals and lakes and are fed by as many as 38 rivers. The chief mode of transport is by boat. Rivers there are 44 rivers in the state which begin from the western ghats. They are now being harnessed for power generation and irrigation. The backwaters and the inland waterways have helped in the growth of the coir industry which is the oldest traditional cottage industry in the state. Coir is made out of coconut husk and is transported through waterways. Fishing is a flourishing industry in several parts of the state. Kerala is famous for rosewood and sandalwood carvings, brass and bell metal lamps and gold jewelry. Kathakali is a form of dance drama and Mohiniyattam is a classical dance form of Kerala. Kalari Payattu is a famous martial art form of this state. Onam is the main festival of the state. The snake boat races during the festival are a popular tourist attraction. Magnificently decorated snake boats take part in the boat race. The Sabrimala Ayappa Temple and the Bhagwati Temple at Attukal are famous pilgrim centers in Kerala. The variety of life in Kerala can be seen in the religious and secular festivals which form an integral part of its cultural heritage. Ladakh a case study Ladakh is a union territory in North India. It consists of two districts, Leh and Kargil. It is surrounded by two mountain ranges, the Karakoram in the north and the Great Himalaya in the south and by two parallel chains, the Ladakh range and the Zaskar range. Ladakh is a land of high passes, a, a resting point for travelers on the ancient trade routes to Central Asia and beyond. Stories based on the life of the Buddha are the main themes of the traditional theater in Ladakh. It is an essential part of the Ladakhi heritage. Many villages have a gampa or monastery, a complex of temples and prayer halls. Gompas are an important part of the lives of the people. These gompas serve as places of worship, meditation and as schools. Some of the most famous fairs and festivals are celebrated around these gompas. Lozar is celebrated as their new year. Shesh Shulpa is celebrated to mark the bringing home of the harvest. 
Hamish Sheshu is the biggest summer festival held in Ladakh. This festival symbolizes the victory of right over wrong, good over evil. Many of the annual festivals of the Gompas take place in winter. These take the form of dance dramas. Lamas dressed in colorful robes wearing masks perform here. Cham, the sacred mask dance, is performed on these occasions by monks dressed in brocade robes and masks. Long horns are blown accompanied by cymbals. People come from near and far to see these events. Archery is an important sport of Ladakh. In Leh and its surrounding villages, archery festivals are held during summer. Polo, a game played here, differs in many respects from the international game of polo. Traditionally, almost every major village had a polo ground. Ladakh has very limited sources of water. Items of daily use such as cooking pots and bowls as well as agricultural implements are supplied by local blacksmiths. Since products made from fresh milk are important and necessary, each family owns some goats, cows, zoos, that is yak cows. Sheep are important in Ladakh because they produce pashmina wool. This wool is sold to traders from Kashmir. Ladakh is home to some rare animals. These include the mountain goat ibex, the snow leopard, bronze drum that is wild yak, kyang, wild horse, nyan, large horned sheep, musk deer and the Tibetan antelope. So this was our chapter unity in diversity. If you have any doubt or query you can ask me in the comment box below and if you want links to the other chapters you can check the description box below. Thank you everyone.